Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr. R- <laughs> running a smidge late yet again. Um, I keep wondering if I should push the start time back, but the whole reason why I'm running late is because I got up late, which meant I got to work late, which meant I got out of work late, which y- 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 you see where this is going. So um, I-, I-, I honestly don't know why I started over here. Uh, other than I'm curious to see what Reyest is going to do with the rest of this. I believe, uh, her plan is to make a giant model of the Heart of the Sea out of the, uh, out of the spawning chamber for the, uh, for the Guardians. So, that, that, that should be interesting. Um, let me get to where I am going to be working today. Sorry having a little trouble getting my chair to move on the carpet. I still need to invest in one of those little plastic thingies that, that makes it a little less trouble to, uh, to roll around on so you don't get wedged up awkwardly between the desk on your left. I mean, ostensibly. So, Tuesday. Oh, what, what just happened? Okay. Something something tried stealing a uh, focus there for a minute. That's not disconcerting. Nope. Not even a little bit. Um actually, let me back up one more step. Uh last Friday I think it was. I did a little more work on the potion brewing station. And in between then I added the stone brick trim. To the roof, and uh, I mean, not terrible. I might go back and, and instead of stone brick, uh, do quartz instead. Just to have a, a quartz border around all the lumber. Yeah, that might be better. Um, as you can see, I've been gathering phantom membranes between what medic provided last go round and what I've been doing. We're, we're, we've almost got this full up. So uh, the puffer fish are full, the glistening melons, the carrots are full. We, honestly, we, we've probably got more potions to brew here than, uh, than any of us realizes. But, all right. That was before, and I just wanted to show that I did a little bit of work on the trim and that kind of thing. Um, I might go back and revisit it. For for this building, I do like the off-centered roof. Uh, I'm trying to learn more about roof design. I do have this set up so that way all the slabs are bottom slabs and where there aren't, I put the buttons there so that way nothing spawns on the roof and <laughs> drops off. Because that that is one of my that is one of my beefs with a lot of the roof designs. They don't take that kind of stuff into account. And that's how you end up with surprise creeper drops, and, and then nobody's happy. Uh, although, instead of buttons, I may go back and do walls? No. No, I'll stick with buttons. Although, I don't think there is a white button. There's no quartz buttons. Uh, there's definitely no concrete, white concrete buttons. Mo Yang. Concrete stuff. All the variants. Stairs. Slabs. Walls. Buttons. Buttons. Uh, and actually, now that I think about it, I find it kind of curious. We don't have a white button. The blackstone buttons added a, a black button. We've got all the different wood tones for the wood buttons. And, uh, okay. I don't know what that was about. But, uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, that's right. This is not organized that way. It's organized differently. Um, like, there's no sandstone button. That that also, that wouldn't be bad. That would give us a, a, a lighter stone but Although, would that be stone? And I guess the reason why I bring that up is because when you're getting into redstone design, wood buttons like the birch button and the and the dark oak button and that kind of stuff, the, the buttons that are made out of wood have a 
different pulse length than the buttons that are made out of uh, than the buttons that are made out of stone. So the stone buttons, the blackstone buttons, and, and that kind of stuff have a shorter redstone pulse than the wood buttons, which is useful depending on what you're making. Like uh, for for the doors. We, we, all the buttons are made out of wood, so it holds this door open longer, and, and you get a easier chance of getting in there. I can't tell you how many times I, I've failed to get through the door because the pulse length of a stone button is just a, a smidge too short, shall we say? Anyway, I don't even. Oh, oh, uh, but yeah, I mean the the. Birch buttons are about as close as you get to a white button. Uh, I don't... I guess a quartz button would fall under the same pulse length as a stone button. Uh, I almost wonder, now that we got dire, you know, diorite and granite and andesite walls that we didn't have before... Although I notice we don't have polished walls, we just got the raw stone walls. Um, I wouldn't mind a polished wall too. Yeah, that, that could be nice. But um, I guess an andesite button would look about the same as a stone button, but still for completeness sake. Um, I'm not, no, a diorite button wouldn't work either. Because that's got a little too much uh, uh, visual noise. Anyway, I, I don't even know. What am I even rambling about? I don't know. You don't know. That's why I got some coffee. That's part of why I'm taking a little break from the regular games revisit. Although, next week, uh, we're back to games revisited on Fridays. I'm going to start a playthrough of Trine. I know that Rast will be joining me for that playthrough, and I might have... I might I might be able to get a, a third. Maybe. I, I haven't followed up uh, with a couple of people on that kind of stuff, so uh, don't hold me to that. Where did the other ender chest go? I had a full stack there, not too far back. Alright, that's what I really wanted. My redstone boxes, because I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Last week, I built this nether wart farm, and it was cool in that uh, basically I, I, I built this off of a glance at a short video and eventually figured out how it works, which was especially great because none of the people who posted videos on that joker explain how exactly it works um but that's a lot of space and a lot of redstone for for what is what has the benefit of being a fully afk farm if i built an enclosure so in other words i i, I put a, a glass wall up around the front and a roof you you could just sit here and afk on the cart with the right click down and you would keep harvesting nether wart. Uh, the, the pistons would break it for you, and then you would harvest it. Uh, Impulse SV went through a different design. It's a manual farm in the sense that you, you the player character, actually put the wart, plant the wart, and you, the player character, harvest it, but he set it up so that way... Um, if you carefully hold the cursor at just the right angle, it'll be only the fully grown warts hitbox. And you hold down the right and left mouse button when you do the F3T trick. And, um, and that way, you'll harvest it with a fortune axe as you run by, and, and you'll plant it if the space is empty. And, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at that kind of work, and, um, that's way more work than I'm willing to do for this. Like, like, I I want the kind of stuff that I don't have to spend 20 minutes explaining how to properly set up and go, 
All right, you, you, you see the, the, the top five-sevenths of the block? You, you want to be just under the top five-sevenths of the block to... Uh, no, no, I ain't playing those games. I am not playing those games at all. So this has the benefit of at least you, you can uh, do the F3T trick, uh, which I keep mentioning, and I, I, I don't know that... Basically, the idea is that if you hold down right-click and then hold down F3 and tap T, it refreshes or reloads the, uh, the texture packs while the Mojang loading screen is up. If you let go of the right-click button, it will continue to hold right-click down because of a weird client glitch. Who knows if that'll continue on into 1.17. But uh, uh, I've also known people to remap right click to the space bar and then lay a knife across the space bar so that way it was weighted down enough to uh, right click for them as they go. Hi, Arcadius. I don't know why I said hi. Um, or, you know, some people have uh, been known to. to <laughs> Some people have been known to uh, to take a little scotch tape and tape down the right mouse button before they walked away. Um, that that would have been me, because remapping takes too much work. And I literally kept a little piece of scotch tape down at the bottom of the monitor that I could just pull off and, and uh, tape down <laughs> the right mouse button <laughs> as I went to walk off. Uh, so, you know, to each his own. Uh, I will probably in the future use the F3T trick, although now that I know about it and I am planning on using it, it will almost certainly be removed in the next game client. <sighs> so what I'm over here trying to figure out while I'm rambling, and, and I, I, I have a distinct problem multitasking these days, um... I'm trying to decide how I want to get more nether wart out of this farm. Like, you, you saw when I did the test, it worked in the sense that all the redstone worked. But because you're you're harvesting with a crushing piston, uh, you're you're only getting the standard one to one to. I meant to look it up before I started and totally forgot. Minecraft nether. Not blocks. Another word. Official Minecraft wiki. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says a fully mature nether wart crop yields two to four nether wart. That has not been my experience. Um. And this is increased by one for each low. Oh yeah. yeah. And this increased by one for each level of fortune. All other stages drop one nether wart, regardless of whether fortune is used. So, theoretically, you should get two to four wart out of each plant. So, assuming worst case scenario, these 13 should produce, at a minimum, an extra 13 every growth cycle. Um... Although we did that the last go round, and we did not get thirteen, or we did not get twenty six back. We only got thirteen back. Uh, I think the wiki might be in need of updating, or the code might be in need of visiting. Uh, I should probably, I should probably check. Uh, not when I'm live, but I should probably check and see if there's a bug open for the yield on the work crops. But either way. Two to four per block is not an amazing yield for the amount of time you got to spend waiting on. Now, what a couple of the videos did is, you know, they showed you the concept with a row of 10 and then said, for our farm, we used a row of 100 of these. So I could build out 100 of these jokers and, uh, and get a better yield for the hour that way. Uh, that's a, that's a lot of resources. Like, I mean, 
we're not exactly hurting for resources. Like, we got plenty of cobblestone for the pistons and the observers and, and, and the droppers. And I mean, we got so much stone, I made stone buttons to use as the item that's dispensed. And I just traded for a whole bunch of redstone. And uh, the tree farm's not fully operational yet. But, uh, you know, soon you'll see the power of a fully operational tree farm. Um, sorry, I couldn't help myself on that one. Uh, I don't know if I would be better off using the space to do what I did in the season before season zero. And I'm going to say season in air quotes because that was long before we, we thought about ever doing any kind of... Uh, live streaming or or even a, a server outside of the home it was literally the home server i had a media center pc hooked up to the tv that uh ran minecraft that ran a minecraft server when you know 24 7 so whoever got home from work could log in hit the server it saved us the hassle of who who had the world that we we're actively working on or what happened more frequently is we had three different worlds and the one we logged into was the one of whoever got home from work first. And setting up that media center PCA to also work as a server kind of alleviated a lot of that. All right. But anyway, what I did there is I had a giant tower of platforms. There, there were... So it was eight wide and seven deep, each platform for eight platforms up. And then there was just a little lever over here that you hit and it triggered some water at the top and the water would flow across the first seven and then the eighth block would drop. Flow across the next seven, eighth block would drop uh, and clear the platforms that way. And, and it was set up so that way there was two platforms for wheat two platforms for carrots, two pat platforms for potatoes, and two platforms for netherwort. Um, and that produced all the, all the stuff that we used for trading and potion brewing and that kind of stuff. Um, I'm actually tempted to, to do that here because breaking the crops with water is going to be just as efficient as breaking the crops with pistons it's going to use fewer actual resources the downside is that once you've harvested it you got to go replant all that so you're gonna have to go up to each platform and plant and then plant and then plant and that that was the one thing that's actually the reason why i haven't built that farm since then it is the harvesting was great you hit the lever you wait a while everything eventually flushes in and, and but uh it takes forever for the hoppers to sort out the items because hoppers have an upper limit on how fast they work um and, and on the other hand this one uh you can legit sit afk so do I want more space efficiency? I mean, it looks like we're hurting for space because we're, we're cramming all this stuff together. I could easily take this and move it back to that hill back there. You know, cut down, cut down the top of the hill and really, uh, really dig into it. Or I could tear down that broken uh, bamboo farm and then rebuild this across that way. And then start building it up and build a couple of layers of this. Which is actually sounding like a better idea. I think I like that one better. Because I'm going to need to fix this anyway. And as much as I like this design, uh, I wanted a way to turn it off. And th it, wasn't, it wasn't initially built to be turned off. Um... I don't know what I would have to do to fix this to work that way, though. Uh, so. You know what? I kind of like that idea. I, I, I think uh, 
means I'm going to have to tear up a little more dirt. And then I can tear this down, rotate it sideways, and then start building levels up. And I'll relocate this to somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Simple project. Side project. <laughs> I think uh, I think what I really need to do is get some shulker boxes because while this was running, it produced a fair amount of bamboo. Like uh, that's what two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve shulker boxes worth of bamboo right there. Fourteen, fifteen. So what? Fifteen shulker boxes worth of bamboo? Maybe I don't need to rebuild the farm. Or at least not yet. Now, of course I need to build a farm. Who are we kidding? All the farms. All the farms. Oh. And that is the other nice thing about this style nether wart farm. All right. I, well, since there's no fully automated nether wart farm, you don't have to worry about uh, it continuing to run over. So just like, uh, just like the coarse root farm, if, uh, if nobody comes to harvest it, no storage is overflowing. And I really wanted to make sure that everything this season had an auto shut off or uh, stopped itself in some way. Alright, so I'm going to need about 15 shulker boxes. So that's going to be about 30 shulker shells. Uh, I notice a distinct lack of chests. That could be a problem. Need to get that tree farm fixed. I've got to find out if anybody has built a <laughs> tutorial of some sort on how to fix the timing in in uh, Numbom's tree farm. Because that that is my problem. All right, uh, let's, let's get these guys taken care of real quick. I know I technically don't need to dye them, but I like it. I kind of like having everything color-coded to at least give you some approximation of what could possibly be in there. Uh, if we were going to do the full rest organization, uh, like when moving the apartment, then we really should have a color-coded chart posted on a wall somewhere here, like green equals growing things, fruits, vegetables, trees, leaves, and gray equals, and blue equals, and... I hope she wasn't listening when I said that. <laughs> Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing? I am getting ready to uh, tear down two farms and move one of them. <laughs> because I apparently adore doing the same work twice. No, I don't. Um, oh, Reyes heard that colors bit. Doggone it. I, I, I'm telling you, look, look, look for it next season. We're, we're going to have a, a wall of concrete color charting. I should probably uh, empty some of my inventory so I can clear more of this out. Oh, oh, I, I did all that guesstimating without uh, uh, taking into account if anything was in any of the hoppers. Hmm, Th this is going to be... Okay, it's okay. Medic, Ray S, you're more than welcome to come help. <laughs> Asphalt. 
last four already. Inventory. I, I I know we got bundles coming, and I am happy for it. Don't hear what I'm not saying. I am very happy for the bundles. Deliriously happy for the bundles, because that that will help with uh, getting some of this assorted accoutrement out of my inventory, at least in a more useful fashion. Although it'd be kind of nice if we could open the shulker boxes in our inventory instead of having to put them put them down in the world. Um, it'd also be nice to have more than three rows of inventory. I, like, surely by now Minecraft Steve's been working out enough that he can handle an extra, like, row of inventory, right? No? No? I mean, l look at all the lifting he does, and I, you know, swing an axe for a living, and, and you too will develop some serious muscle. It's gonna. Oh. What did I leave off on? There we go. Probably gonna have to go back because. Oh! Okay. Full inventory. Uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna have to do that for a couple of them so that way the hoppers get a chance to drain. Judge, uh, how many shulker boxes I was going to need? I'm really getting the feeling like I misjudged how many shulker boxes I'm going to need. Yeah, I'm also curious where that extra minecart came from and if the reason why some of this didn't seem to be working is because there was a broken hopper minecart in there somewhere. Because that, that is why, that, that is part of why I'm tearing this down to rebuild it. Uh, I know that it is at least partially broken. Alright, so far so good. That's empty. That is now empty. That's still draining. Like a pool, it takes forever to drain. Isn't that right, Beach Duck? No. Hello! How are you doing? I noticed the uh, follow notification uh, about a day or so ago. I greatly appreciate that. I know I recognize the name, but I can't recall where from. Is it is it from uh, Heaton's Discord? Night attack. Okay. Okay. I figured it was. Well, yeah. I'm I'm sure something else is bound to be. Uh, I wonder. I wonder how many broken hopper minecarts do I have in here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure they got something up. There's no way with both of them in the same town they don't have something up their sleeve. There, there, there's gonna be there's gonna be a new a new night attack, uh, even if they don't call it that name. Although, how many name changes has the show been through? Because uh, it, it was. It was NSFW show for a while. Night Attack. But I feel like there was another one that I'm missing.
Okay, I forgot about I forgot about BB Live. I remember NSFW because that's when I first um, first heard of them was during the the uh, NSFW and then Night Attack. So it, they, they they got something coming for sure. All right. Um, I need like. Two more shulker boxes? Yeah, I need two more shulker boxes. I th ah. <laughs> right now I'm tearing down this uh, broken bamboo farm to make room for another wart farm and enjoy some coffee and a little break. Normally on Fridays I do a game series called uh, Games Revisited where I take a look at classic games and games from my youth and especially where the two overlap. And uh, just uh, the, la the last one ended a little bit quicker than I was expecting. And um, yeah, there we go. And so... Uh, I decided to take a brief hiatus and then pick back up uh, this coming Friday. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be playing Trine, and joining me is going to be Rayest, one of the members of Coffee Craft and my sister. <laughs> so you'll get all the joys of siblings playing games together. It was entertaining for somebody I know. <laughs> All right. There's one. There's two. There's three. And almost. Seriously, 13 bamboo in the last one. <laughs> Alright, that's everything out of there. Let me go toss the boxes of bamboo in storage. Then I'll start getting this torn down and pack it up in the remaining box. That should fit in one box, right? Sure. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with that. Totally will. Uh, don't, don't, don't let that fool you. Uh, <laughs> the area that I'm in right now is the community area of the servers where we're putting all the community farms like these guys, the melon and pumpkin farm with the uh, villager trading hall, the general purpose trading hall. Uh, my, my... The base that I started, and then because I had to pause for repair classes, is over here. And, and so my storage consists of some barrels up against the wall. <laughs> I, I do intend to get back here and try to do something before we finish finish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, about this time last year, I had to take a, a, a little bit of a break from some of the stuff I was doing to... Uh, to go to guitar repair classes. And that is what landed my, my current job. Oh, I think I see the problem. Okay, all right, let's... Uh, where I fix... I fix instruments. That's, uh, that's it. That's my job. I, I repair and refurbish. Right now I'm working on violins and violas. And I'm supposed to be adding cellos and basses real soon. So it's a nice break. I used to work in healthcare. My degree is in computer programming. I worked in the healthcare field for a very long time. 
and uh, I burnt out. I did staff training there. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Taking lessons, or is this uh, in taking uh, taking lessons with a a with a one-on-one -on -one instructor, or just as a part of uh, school classes, or both? Definitely, hobby now. Yeah, uh, I highly encourage keeping it up. Music is music is its own reward, definitely. And uh, the nice thing about music scholarships, the uh, the orchestra isn't limited to a set number of players like the football team. <laughs> they can, as long as they got the money for a scholarship, they can always pop up another chair. So, uh, yeah. Where I'm working now, uh, there, there's a... I used to work on the retail side, and now I'm in the repair shop for the company. Uh, I am intentionally being a little vague on that front. Um, but, uh, the, the company does offer lessons, too, and it, it's one of those things... That is probably the most enjoyable part of the whole thing, is, uh watching kids take lessons some of the some of the moments aren't aren't quite as entertaining you know especially when they're still tr struggling to figure out uh you know the difference between e and almost e uh <laughs> which i'm sure you're acutely aware of <laughs> yeah you know, I, I i think of some of the trombone students that uh you know it, it sounds a little bit more like there's a sad cow behind the down the hall <laughs> but uh on the other hand it was very very rewarding to to see some of the kids go from beginner beginner piano to they composed the piece that they played on their last recital as a student where where I worked, uh, that that was an amazing thing. Yeah. All right. Gonna yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to rework the way this uh this farm goes. missing and okay okay that's exactly what happened now the question is how did the hopper minecarts that were in there break uh that because that that is important though although i guess technically yeah, uh, well, uh, soon, question mark. The 1.17 update was originally scheduled for the summer, and uh, it sounds like they're running into some problems with terrain generation, so they're splitting the update into two updates. The first one coming out uh, still scheduled for the end of the summer is going to be all the new blocks all like uh the copper blocks and the copper ore and uh the tough and all all that new stuff is going to come out this summer and then in the winter they're going to do another another update that has uh the new cave cave generation and that kind of stuff 
ostensibly. So that that should be coming out this winter. I, I feel like I should put a uh, asterisk after that too, because. Uh, only because I, I've been down this road before on my own software projects and seen it happen uh, in other other projects like this too, where it's like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll totally be able to fix that uh, this summer. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, I'm sorry, there's been a problem. <laughs> uh, you know, that's just... Uh, that's just the way it goes. I get it. I totally get it. That software will be released in two weeks. Or sorry, what was it in the early days of Stack Overflow? It was uh, four to six weeks. And every time they did a podcast and Joel asked Jeff, you know, how, how long is it going to be before such and such is ready to go? Yeah, four to six weeks. <laughs> I've been there. I know how that goes. All right, let's drop that in there for now. And somewhere, there we go. Wine carts. I'll be back for those later. Yeah, we we got a nice little uh, community storage center. There's there's our post office. Everybody's got a little barrel. The light shows up when uh, we have stuff in there, but uh, <laughs> uh, m many of us seem to be using it. At, okay, all of us seem to be using it as temporary storage. Oh, and that guy. That is Java. He, he is Arcadius's uh, service dog who, who will follow everybody around like a, a little Labra shadow. And, yeah, he's great. He's adorable. That That's also why I, I added a texture pack to our server that turns tame dogs into black labs. And uh, the Jabba that we have here is under the bed, which is where you usually find him when he's not, you know, working. And sometimes even when he is. <laughs> He's a good boy, though. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, so let me clear out a little bit more land. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this farm here. I'm going to turn it that way and maybe build... See if I can build this two or three tiers up. And then set up a minecart so it goes through a a path that uh, that gets you. So you can just AFK on the cart and it'll roll you across here as you plant and harvest uh, nether wart. That's the thought, at least. We'll see how well that matches up. Actually, I probably shouldn't tear that down just yet. Let me uh, let me dig this up first. First things first, then the next thing. Is that too low? That might be too low. No, there we go. Yeah, uh, for me, I, I'm I'm. I'm probably what you might call a redstone intermediate. I'm starting to get where if you give me the general concept, I can I can figure it out. Uh, for like that farm design, I saw a couple of videos on how to build it, but nobody explained how it worked. And so I I, I can I can take that and figure out how it works. Um, I don't always manage to build something whole cloth from new. I, I've got a couple of... There, there's a couple of farms on here that have been built whole cloth. Where I struggle is the, the building part. I have trouble making beautiful things. I make functional things. 
I, I struggle with the beautiful things. So, like, that building right there, uh, Medic built. Yeah, uh, Medic is the fourth member of the Coffee Craft server, and he's somebody that I used to work with at the hospital. Um, we, we've been slowly adding the mob heads on, on the wall, but yeah, so this this building he built. I, I built the villager trading system that went inside, and he made a beautiful building around it. Uh, likewise, for the community storage, I built all the redstone for the storage, but Rast, my sister, built the building that goes around it. Uh, and, and so you'll see that all all throughout where like the the ugly iron farm that that's mine the the chapel that still doesn't have a roof that's mine because i haven't figured out how to make a roof <laughs> i struggle with roofs i struggle a lot with roofs because until this season i mostly built underground anyway like i was the guy who, who just built a, a hole in the wall and i only had to decorate interiors because i struggled with roofs yeah like, this, this mountain is an Arcadius build, along with the coffee pot hanging over the volcano. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't get me started on the, what's going on here? I, I what? Why, why is there a... Oh yeah! Yeah, I will definitely do that in just a second. I get distracted by the... the. Why is there a line of honey blocks? I don't... Um, yes, except Arcadius built this really cool mountain getaway. So it's a, it's a water-filled... And it's got the conduit power. Although if he's going to rag on me about uh, incomplete projects, I, I might want to mention that he's got this beautiful interior. And uh, it's a beautiful interior. And three random scaffolding for some reason. Although, I need to come and finish uh, fixing this door. Because uh, it, it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. You're, you're, if you open the door with this lever, then that lever will let you back out. But if you do what I did, and you fly in the top... Uh, it, it doesn't open from the inside. I haven't quite figured out what is wrong with the design that it does that. Um, that, that much I haven't, I haven't managed. Yet. Yet. Oh, I didn't realize you put the, uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 that, that's from the campfire anyway. I was like, I thought there, there was blocks of soul sand under there. And we'll, we'll get we'll get to the solution soon enough. Oh, I finally put uh, soul speed on these boots, and that that is pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, I can I can make doors and machines and things, and uh, it it takes a server. takes a server to build a machine, I think. Somebody said that somewhere along the way, right? Oh, don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Some of the stuff that I'm building, I'm only building because I'm I'm using the designs that others have put together. So, um I, the, like, this villager farm that was something that I built off of a design by Cortez Reno. 
And this is one of the things that we're trying to do this season. I got to go back to the gold farm and add the signs for that. But uh, if I built it off of somebody else's somebody else's design, even even if I took some liberties with that design, I I'd try to put a a sign there. So that way, uh, it's very clear that that wouldn't be. Uh, this one, I've got to get a sign for this part of the storage system. Because I put together the, the system here for holding and sorting and sifting. Or for loading, system, loading and the bulk storage is one of those bog standard designs that you've seen a bajillion people use. Like, I don't know that anybody remembers who came up with the original at this point. Uh, but this part of the storage system is something that uh, Nembom put together? Either Nembom or El Mango. Uh, one, one of those two. And, and so that uh, that is that is something I want to make sure I give appropriate credit for. Now the sheep farm. The sheep farm is something that Medic and I worked out way early in the season. That was an interesting misadventure. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, well, wool farm. Uh, let me take that with me. That is a thing. That is over this way. So we've always got two double boxes worth of wool. We set up a pen with one sheep of each color and it just kind of chills in the background. If I wanted to, I could have built this tower with a little more storage. Yeah, it's your standard storage tower. And um, what I like is that unlike a lot of the designs that I've seen floating around, I built it so it turns itself off when it's full. And you don't end up with a lot of entities just sitting there chilling. You don't end up burning through shears for no reason. Uh, but if you've got a dispenser with shears, then you can automatically shear the sheep uh, whenever the dispenser triggers. And so... Uh, Underneath that dispenser is an observer looking at that block of grass that the sheep is standing on. When he eats the grass, that's when his wool grows back. And so him eating the grass changes the block state, which triggers the dispenser and shears him. And then it just keeps going through that cycle until it's full. And once the storage is full, this little redstone signal turn keeps this powered all the time. So no matter what changes are triggered it doesn't burn through shears and you don't have tons of wool just sitting there despawning because there's no room to store it and we did that we did that fairly early in the season I, I want to say it was within the first first couple of months and uh, yeah I and this is again where I did the redstone and medic built the actual you know the better looking parts of the farm <laughs> all the ugly stuff on the inside that makes it work that that, that was me uh, although we added uh, made some changes along the way like in the original design we didn't have the barrel full of shears feeding into it so we'd have to keep running back and checking you know uh, is there still shears in the dispenser no okay uh, so I reworked it a little bit to get a barrel and hopper in there with shears so that in a way that wouldn't interfere with anything else so we, we could go a little bit longer before checking to see if there were shears. There, there's still a, a problem with the roof design. Because every now and again, a lightning storm will zap one of the sheep. And so we'll see an empty pen and uh, some mutton in the storage system. <laughs> uh, I think we've had to replace maybe a half... We've had to replace maybe a half dozen sheep... <laughs> Um, you know, small price. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because they have a glass roof over them. And last I checked, they shouldn't, 
they shouldn't be able to be struck by lightning. Because I've got the trapdoor over the top, which is where I dropped them in initially. They, they've got the glass surrounding them, and they've got the, the wood roof on top of that. So I don't... I don't know what was going on with that. Also, somebody's going to pick up their... Uh, their boxes from the concrete maker. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> All right. Let me tear down a little bit of this and start turning it the other way. Um, do I want to make it the same with, all right, I need, I need to actually count it out this time. Oh yeah. Uh, it, you, you'll notice that the four members of Coffee Craft all, all know each other. So Rayest is my sister, Arcadius is her husband. And uh, Medic is somebody that Arcadius and I worked with at our previous jobs. So uh, that, that that is part of what makes a server work as well as it does. Is that we all we all know each other. We're all good friends, and that that does help a lot. That helps a lot. <laughs> all right, count. It is a big happy family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got no only space for a back wall. And we'll go. So we'll go back wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have fun. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, we do coffee craft with a bunch of, with, with as much of the servers we can get together on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. So if you want to, if you want to join with more of the server chatting, then uh, that is the time to do it. And uh, I've got all the replays up on, up on uh, my YouTube channel too. So if you want to see how we did, how we made some of the stuff that we've made, that's been that that's sitting around floating around. Ooh, tacos. I mean, I ate and I'm not hungry, but tacos. <laughs> oh. How's everybody else doing? I, I, I see there's a few extra people on. I mean, Arcadius could just be on chatting too. That would work. Again with the tacos. I mean... Don't hear what I'm not saying. I, ever since you said tacos, really does sound like a good idea. All right. I keep forgetting that shears now do an amazing job of uh, knocking out the wool. A much needed addition. Uh. I don't think he has eaten dinner. I have, and I still want tacos, so what's my excuse?
Right. I'm going to leave one slice up so I can remember how to put all this back together again. Is the short-term memory something or other is real. And the other question is, is how many how many layers how many layers do I build? I mean, I'm tempted to say three, but I feel like three isn't going to be enough. Maybe four, nice even number. Seriously, we're we're going to go with the young end thing. What? Don't I dare make four? Why shouldn't I make four? Or six? I mean, eight's a nice round number, especially for a programmer. Oh, storage. figure out how I want to decorate this thing too. I'm not going to get better at decorating if I don't actually, you know, fry. Well, I need that. That is one one of these things. One of these days, when I have a little downtime, whatever that is, um, I need to go back through and figure out a way to get a proper um, monitor going because I'm noticing that the volume in my ear while I'm recording is different than the volume in the recording. And that is, uh, that is slightly problematic. Okay, that's more than slightly problematic. I need, I need a couple of random boxes. Do I not have a couple of random boxes in yet? Well, I, I got that, but that's for the lighting project. Alright. I just need a temporary box, though. Do I have a random empty shulker box somewhere? I mean, I guess I can steal one from the hub as long as I put it back. up the redstone for both of those. I'll put it back. I should, by the time this is done, at least have back what we had before. Oh, that was the other reason why I went here. I needed to put an actual, like, floor in. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll do stone brick since we got plenty of stone. Although, keeping with another wart, I might I might build it out another rack. Yeah, let's build it out another rack. I just I, I want a flooring underneath the farm that highlights that it is there is something here. So if you end up trying to dig out something underneath, you'll know when you hit the farm because well, there, there's a different block type. Let me toss that right there. Uh, minecart, no, there weren't. Red stony bits. Alright, and... There we go. 
that's right. I need to go one more. Oh, that way. Because we're going to have the wall even with that. And the wall was one block wider than the farm. And I needed one block beyond the wall. So we've got... The wall matching up with that wall. The wall matching up with that one and one block wider. So that should... That should be good. Okay. I mean, nobody's going to see this part, so I, I don't know that it really matters. Actually, instead of the, uh, instead of the red concrete for the walls, I probably ought to... Oh. Did I not? I thought I brought more than that. I did bring more than that. Not that much more than that. Instead of the concrete, I might want to just use a... Uh, figure out a way to use nether rack and nether brick. Since this is a nether wart farm, it should have more of a nether, nether feel to it. Where did... Where did all our nether rack go? I thought that's why we did the, uh, I thought that's why we did the bulk storage. Oh, never mind, because we got it in shulker boxes, packed down in shulker boxes. I might just take that with me. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Yeah, maybe I will use the concrete. There we go. Alright. I need that redstone block. We're going to go one in from the wall with a redstone block. Then we're going to go... Outside edge, wall, redstone block. So we got outside edge, wall, redstone block. Side edge, the wall, and a redstone block. Might, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and take out. I'm gonna need one more for the border. Tempted to put a big glass wall on uh, on the outside edge. smaller than the than it was ah that's okay yes that's smaller it kind of keeps it a little bit closer to the width of that guy up there that's why you don't usually build with another wreck it is a little easy to break and another wart that stay in there for now. Let me 
need to go grab rafting bench. That's going to be my blocker on the other side for the moment. Although again, I'd like to get it set up so that way you start here and it goes here, bumps you up to the next level, you go across, bump up to the next level, go across, and then back around. But first, let's get this back the way it was. So I'm going to need my soul sand. That's going to be... It was there, right? Yeah, because we had the wall, the sand. And I needed the wall because when you're that close to the sand... When you're that close to the sand, it is very easy to miss the end blocks. So you got to go in that last one. And let me grab... Terracotta. I guess I'm done with the shears now. No, I'll hang on to the shears. Because we got the block. We got the wall. going from 13 across to 11 across. That's okay. Because we're going to make more uh, more la layers anyway. I'm going to need my sea lanterns. Observers on top of each other facing forward with the power coming out this side. And this is resource intensive. Although So I'll keep that in my inventory. Technically don't need the sea lanterns, but I'll keep that in my inventory too. I need pistons. I need a nap. Pistons are going to go down. These are the guys that are going to break the nether wart when they are fully grown. I'm going to need my wool. I need blocks to be powered on the other side. This is the nice thing about having a wool farm. I love using wool as a redstone component because it's hard to break accidentally and it helps you... <laughs> although I didn't color code this, it, it does help you with a lot of other functions that, that make life way easier. Alright, I need my droppers and buttons. Droppers, buttons. Uh, I am moving the farm that I made Tuesday. So instead of having it going across this way like it was before, I'm making it go this way over here. And hopefully I'm going to have enough time to build it taller. So instead of having just the 13 going across, I'm going to have 11... Uh, second row of 11, and maybe, if I can fit it in there, a third row of 11. And then we'll see how tall that makes it. And if I feel like making it taller, I'll probably feel like making it taller. I, li I, I like making farms bigger. 
Somebody already clipped the fact that I, I like to overcomplicate things. I might feel some kind of way about that. These guys need to go up. Uh, we need to go... Yeah, just a little bigger. One more floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. Three buttons go on there, three buttons go on there. Yeah. This is going to help me if we ever get around to building that stat poker game. How many droppers opened? All the droppers. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. So I got three. Three, three, three. Oh, I was triple checking. <laughs> no pun intended that time. So this is our, our growth counter. And we could actually use a very similar design to watch uh, cocoa beans grow. Which, I uh, wonder where I could fit something like that. The only thing I don't think you can do is automate the, the replanting. But you could have you could have a a bit of jungle wood uh, running across, and then have these guys watch. Or act, well, you could you could do it a couple of different ways. But the the end goal is that you have uh, these guys watching, and then as the bean grows, when the bean hits uh, full growth, the piston shakes the log, which breaks the beans off, and then it goes into. Uh, and then it goes into receivership. No, it goes into collection. Right, oh so. no, don't break the beans. I tried not to spill the beans. How are you doing today, Rast? Good of you. Uh, hanging in there. Over-engineering things as usual. Thanks. I mean, to be fair, I I may have a good idea of where you learn those tendencies. Yeah, that's the wrong one. I wonder if Beach Duck would know. I don't think she knows. Nope. What was the game? Over engineering? Or are you talking about like Mousetrap? Cause uh Oh, remember that one? That was fun. Yeah. I I can't remember which DTNS which, which recent DTNS it was, but uh for the Daily Tech News show. But um uh, they <laughs> they definitely went into a little side jag about um games, board games in particular. And it, it was a really, really interesting side trip down to the fact that uh, I think it was Amos said that uh, one of the games that really held the held up over time was Operation, because he's playing it with his six year old, and they are all in, like he's enjoying it as an adult. She is obviously enjoying it. Killing me, Smalls. What? 
even the French chefs look at how much salt you use and go, uh... That's okay, one of the girls at work actually looked at me and goes, I just have a quick question for you. Do you like... Do you drink water? And I went, yeah, it's in my coffee. And she's like, no, I just like, <laughs> it just dawned on me that outside of being at the gym, I've never seen you drink something that wasn't coffee. Well, I mean, coffee's something. That guy should be there, and that guy should be there. He brought me salt. I, I kind of figured. And... Yeah, it does. That totally counts as water. Totally reliable surveys that I have not just made up. Uh, have... Uh, okay, that's how far. Oop. Hang on. I, I can't count and uh, joke at the same time. Actually, Arcadius totally spoke to one of my doctors about it and brought up the whole, like, oh. salt and coffee intake thing. And they were like, look, if the lights, like, if or the lights, I'm looking at lights, if the labs <laughs> are good and... Uh, I figured you were just going for a shorthand of electrolytes, hydration. but, you know. And hydration is happening. You know what? We're, we're just going to call it a win. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that works. All right. Uh, and was like, well, this is uh this is not the hill you want to die on, so uh just roll with it. <laughs> Where are you at? I saw you log in. Oh, by the way. In game you should probably eat something too. I see you're down a couple hearts. That's it all built, so I don't need my example anymore. Are you making a pretty casing when you're done? Uh, I was going to attempt to, but I might just want to skip the middle part where I attempt and fail, and then I'll just ask uh, somebody else to. I, I, depending on how tall it was going to end up, I was going to see if I could uh, con somebody into making a pixel art glass wall of a nether wart on the nether wart farm. How tall is it going to end up? I don't know yet. I'll let you know when it gets there. Okay. I mean, first I just got to add this little extra space from the mud room, and, and then I'll push this other wall out a couple inches. And then, uh, and then, and then maybe add an extra porch. And then once it's widened out enough, uh, I might want to go ahead and just uh, add a third floor. So this isn't going to be done before we finish the season. <laughs> we still got to talk about when we're going to finish the season. Now that uh, when it's done. Now that Mo Yang has uh, changed things. When which it is done. Ow! How are you doing? It still weirds me I out. I do want baby goats, though. Yeah, the goats are going to be really cool. Uh, honestly... <laughs> I'm going to be really happy for the uh, lightning rod. I really like the idea of my villagers and stuff not dying to lightning strikes. Like, I really, really like the idea of my villagers not dying to lightning strikes. Oh, I know what I forgot. What else can you do with the lightning rod? Uh... 
Well, you can do all sorts of stuff that require lightning. Because right now, to convert a red mushroom into a brown mushroom, you need to strike him with lightning. So that means you need to use a channeling trident on a thunderstorm close enough to the mushroom for him to get struck, but not actually die from the trident strike. And so it's a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want a char any farm that requires charged creepers, usually for mob heads and that kind of thing, uh, you would have to go through all sorts of lengths to get them into a place where you could use a channeling trident. And before that, you just had to get them in an area in a field where you had slightly better odds of them getting hit than just as they wandered about. Now you can actually set up a lightning rod in a plane. How many times am I going to walk through that stupid bush? Um, so now you've got more options for uh, for setting up uh, setting up farms that require that require lightning. Oh, guess what's shipped today? Uh, the evergreen? Buttons. Buttons? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm so excited. As long as one of us is. I guess I do still need a temporary box. Right. Um, Don't you want him to be able to communicate his needs? He does that very well most of the time. Thank you very much. How am I? Oh, okay, no, because the redstone block will be there. That will that will technically count as powering the piston. You can explain to uh, Beach Duck, or have you already explained for uh, explained it for the other people watching too? Exactly what buttons uh, and why you're so excited. So we have an adorable black lab named Jubba, as in Jubba the Hut. He was really fat when he was a baby. Well, he still is really fat. I could have stopped earlier in the sentence, but whatever. <laughs> and he, he well really takes for. to training well, well enough that he also has later in life been trained for service work. So, like, really awesome, really smart dog. Totally not biased on that. No. So, we ordered him one of those boards made for dogs to have buttons for their c different communications so they can tell you things or say they want outside or they want to pee or they want to go chill or they want to play or whatever. And it's a full kit of like a full language capacity <gasps> for a dog. And it's by a company called Fluent Pen that's partnering with some different science organizations to use animals well, intelligent animals to species learning how to use these boards to intelligent kind animals. of research so black pool. labs, not chocolate labs. Exactly. So they're using this research that they're getting from people teaching their pets how to use the board, which is basically an AAC device. And they're actually using it to develop research and come up with theories and ideas to make AAC communication devices better for actual people. So, I will have somebody who's already pretty good at being persistent able to be more persistent. No, he's going to have the later button. We just have to use the buttons as well and model them and be consistent. Okay. 
And we do have a no button, and you can tell them no just because they ask, like with a child. Doesn't mean you gotta say yes. Oh, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, you have. You seen me with my nieces and nephews? <laughs> that that wasn't what I was going for, but yeah. Um. I was referring to every having every single one of them the knows that side. I can say no. A no button? Yeah, yeah. we're going to have a button. It's going to say no, and it will say no. Now, are these really... pre-recorded voices, or are these our voices? Um, I'll have the option of doing either. Okay. Because sometimes when you say no, you say no with tone. That communicates more than the actual phonemes of no. Well, that's why. So if you're not comfortable with the recording of yourselves or you don't feel like you can say stuff right there or whatever, you can use their prefabs. Uh, I don't think that's I will problem. likely, yeah, I will likely want to record my own. And we're going to have to decide uh, what we're calling ourselves. I think I'm going to suggest that we start transitioning to using our own proper nouns just because when we call each other by name, that'll help reinforce for him uh -huh. what to call us. Okay. Because, yes, I know we jokingly call me Mama in reference to him because he's my baby. But it's but. not like anyone else calls me that so it gets yeah. kind of confusing well, that's fair so um, he'll know people's names and the names of his toys and we'll be able to finally answer the question about whether or not when I ask for a toy if he gets the wrong one is it he can't find it or, or is it he, he would say rather play with no in the toy that he wants like, I'll say, where is pig? And he brings me ball. And I go, where is pig? And he'll go over to his board and go, no ball. <laughs> Each that what's so true. Yeah. Uh, the tone. Ah. Need comparators and observers. I feel like sometimes he looks for my face Dude. or my energy. Like, I haven't even gotten a chance to say anything, and he's looking over like, oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... So, how are we going to do the um, color coding? <laughs> I was kind of hoping you'd missed that part. So, how are we going to do the color coding? Ooh, I could, so I can make these frames invisible. Can you do two layers of frames? Because then I could do... No, no you can't do uh, two layers of frames. Well, fine. I'll do an invisible frame and an armor stand. Locked. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> so you'll have the color-coded piece of glass behind it, and glass will help color code. Hmm? So we'll have an item frame with a color-coded piece of glass. Okay. And then make the item frame invisible. So you just see the glass for the color coding and then have a armor stand holding the item for the item. Yeah. You want to talk about me over engineering? It's going to be beautiful. 
You said you wanted it. I am just complying. With I did not request. say that I wanted it so much as that's what I heard. That's that, what I heard. So much as that's what you heard. Where's exactly. my box? What box? In the hub. I'm using it. I just needed a temporary box. Oh, 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 I'm missing more redstone dust. I'll bring it back. As soon as I'm done. You do know that hints are supposed to be subtle, right? <laughs> I just I made I made fifteen boxes to, to pack away the bamboo farm. I was like, I grabbed another box to bring out here anyway, so. Uh, how much red terracotta do we have? Not a I lot. I think we're decent on that. Huh? Thank you. Uh, because picking up a chest and moving it when you realize that the building is extending out into the area where you put them is a pain. Uh, we have a whole shul two shulkers of red terracotta. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but that's like all the way out in the mining area and stuff. Are you going to be mad at me if I work on this roof? Which roof? The one that doesn't exist. Yes, I will figure out the roof. I will. Okay. I will conquer this. Now, if you want to redo the, the potion brewing shack... Or whatever you want to call it, that that's fine. Or if you want to make changes or tweaks to it, that's fine. Church is yours. Yeah, I will finish this. I've managed every other part of the design. I will finish a roof, and then I'll be Why happy. Why this that... color palette? Huh? Why this color palette? Um, I'd love to give you a reason. I was actually, uh, at the beginning of the stream talking about possibly going back and swapping out, uh, quartz slabs and stairs instead of the stone, just because the stone feels kind of off. And then I was lamenting the, the fact that there are no blue, or there are no, uh, white buttons. So for the, yeah. the buttons on the roof to stop bad things from spawning there's no white buttons to put down let me see what i can do all right let's see what you can do i can do anything if i concrete stairs well we don't Uh, so this... That's my soul. Alright. So... Just get my markers here. Yeah. 
<laughs> I need to grab. Oh, I thought I had more soul sand in there. In my box of soul sand. I just stretched out the sand too, but I ran out of space. And also, I can't say that like they did on Soul Train. Maybe if I practiced a little more. Um, I don't know how much red sand stuff. Yeah. Although we do have the data pack that lets you dye regular sand red. Just because of how hard it is a to point of order. Out. Huh? Just like a point of order. Okay. Oh. We just don't. Like, we haven't done much in deserts other than... No, the Baron. not this go round. Not this go round. Maybe next time. With the, although I don't know, with the caves and cliffs, I, I feel like we're going to be spending a lot of time in the mountains and underground because duh, caves and cliffs. Oh, the latest snapshot has giant <laughs> ore veins as a new thing in the terrain generation. Or what veins? Ha ha ha. I, got, I need more pistons. How many do I have in my... Uh, we'll see how far that gets me. Oh. I do have more droppers in here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to need orange wool. Actually, the fun part is going to be figuring out how I'm going to route the track around to get back up here. If it wasn't if it wasn't for the distance between floors, I'd be sorely tempted to use a slime block launcher. So you, you get to the end, and a slime block launcher pops you up, and then you move over to the next bit of track. Don't you do that? Huh? Why not? That sounds fun. It could be fun. If it works right. It's that pesky if it works right, though. Oh, and, and apparently Mo Yang's already gotten the first round of complaints about from people about the uh, giant ore veins. And uh, I really like Pixel Rift's point where he goes, guys, there are people who set up an iron farm that produces a hundred and some odd ingots of iron a day. And, uh, you're seriously going to complain about an ore vein? We, we really want to encourage people to try different ways of doing the game. So, if you could kindly, uh... Stop it. Uh, just, you know, get a little more perspective. Perspective is hard. Yeah. You know, it's also hard. What? Remembering how many things you need. I, I need to go back to storage again and get buttons. What kind of buttons? Stone buttons. I can bring them if you want. Okay, because I, I, I can't do the next step until I get that, so it's like... I appreciate it, but... I'm kind of short on... Well, no, I guess I got stuff well, I can't... No, I'm in the storage unit, like, right now, so... Ah. If you want buttons, I can, like, literally grab them right now. Yeah. Okay, what color wood? Not wood. Stone. Because we have so much stone, oh, I'm trying bad. to use it up in projects. Okay, maybe not use it up so much as just, you know, use it. Oh, we have a few. How many buttons do you need? Uh, I was going to say bring me a stack for now, and then we'll see where that... Oh, and I need uh, okay. redstone torches, too. Because apparently I am absent-minded. Who knew? I totally forgot about that problem. Why do we have so many pickles? 
because Arcadius made a really nice pickle farm. And I was going to light oh, up something with pickles, and then you were going to light up something with pickles, and you didn't realize that I, I had a bunch of extra. I pickles. Also, who put a note in my box that says the path looks awesome? I did, because uh, oh. you had your inventory full while you are AFK, so I couldn't toss it in your inventory. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I, 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 re I. I really can't hate on that, because I did the same thing for the very same reason. Because, I don't know, people randomly drop stuff into inventories. It's really weird like that. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> but yeah, the, the mushroom path that you made for the, the nether bit. Oh, very cool. Awesome. <coughs> I just realized the flaw in my plan. I actually need to go check and see if it worked. If what worked? The string. Oh, yeah. Well, it. You probably won't notice either way right now, because nobody's been in there to load that area. So nothing would have had the opportunity to grow. Yeah, but if I load it and go hang out there for a little bit. Yeah, you can do that. Although I thought you were uh, improving the, the design of the the potion shack. Oh, you should probably you should totally call uh, rename that the Shake Shack. Isn't that taken? Yeah, well, if you put the right ASCII art, then uh, technically technically it's something different. Although it's only a trademark concern if you're in the same business arena. It, that, that's why Monster keeps losing all their uh, lawsuits because they're trying to sue people who aren't in the business of energy drinks. And they keep losing. I wish I could say I was sad about them losing frivolous lawsuits. Which but, is uh, really sad because didn't Monster's cables come out like a long time before them? Oh yeah, yeah, there's that too. Um, I thought that was weird. Okay. It worked. So far. No, like last time, even just this amount of time, they would grow. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of string. Mm -hmm. Good thing we got a wolf farm. Actually, I took it from the piggies. From the piggies? Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot the, that farm... That the piglin trading farm also gives string. I almost wonder if you if you could. I mean, I, I know the whole nether only survival things already been done because of everybody doing that at the start of one point sixteen. But we have not done that. What trying right. to live in the nether? Yeah, try <laughs> try to live in the nether only. Oh. I wonder, I, I really wonder how far you could get and what you would end up missing out on. How far you, the collective plural British kind of you, or how far, like, I? Well, you are part of the server. Yes, but one of us has a significantly lower track record than all the others. In the nether. Well, I mean... 
So it's not the easiest. So far, so good. And I need observers and repeaters. Oh, I'm going to need more observers too. Okay, I got you. And next week we're still on for starting trying, right? Yes, we are. We are definitely on for starting trying. I was going to poke Arcadius to see if he was definitely in or not, and if he was okay. not, I was going to see if Medic was interested to round out. But you said three. observers or dispensers? Observers. How do you make this? Uh, cobblestone, redstone dust, and uh, quartz. The raw quartz, not the quartz blocks. And then you should see the recipe in your recipe book. Raw quartz. Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Okay, what else? Redstone. The dust or the stone? The dust. Okay, now I get... How many do you need? Uh, I'm not sure yet. It depends on if I add a third floor or not. So a lot. I mean, it's never hurt us to have a bunch of, you know, laying around just in case. Fair. And we have, like, none. Yeah. Because uh, I just used a whole bunch for this project. So my concern was that for the powered rail, that that redstone block would interfere with the machine down here. But as long as I got that extra, that extra layer, it should be good because that is not powering anything. Yeah, that's not powering anything. It shouldn't. Or that shouldn't. Oh. Any yellow grass? Probably need to put stairs or something in at some point, too. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna run a cart. <coughs> Fun. Fun adjacent. Okay. I did end up getting... Oh. Oh. oh that didn't go as planned. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Cut the cart like... Was she like a boat? Huh? Like, you start here, and it goes, like, up, like those rocking boats, and then back. I mean, not as steep as flying, but like, and then, <laughs> whoosh. And that, then That's up. what I'm trying to figure out, is how I want to do this. I, I know you're going to start here, and then, so you'll go across this way. 
I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get you up to the next floor to go back around. Ow. And depending on how that goes... Alright, I don't feel so bad about walking into the stupid shrubberies. Um, and then depending on how that goes, I might do a third floor. That's kind of short. That's only 22... That's only two, 22... Um, you don't want blocks. it to, obscure, to obscure your purple building, do you? Hmm? I, I don't think we're going to run into... I, I don't think you're going to be able to obscure that building. And I just noticed that somebody's been <laughs> adding more shulker heads. I love it. Yeah, uh, the ginormous building of purpleness, I don't think that's going to get hidden anytime soon. Well, it's been a while since I've done a harvest, too. But on the other hand, I don't have the, the coarse fruit farm going yet, so... Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, rails. Need to go back to storage and get some more rails. We still haven't done a, uh, a minecart system like we did in the last season, although we're not really set up for it this go-round. In the previous season, we had a whole... There we go. Sure. That ought to be enough. Uh, we had a whole rail system that went from base to base to base to community center, and it was... Subway is not quite right, but you, you kind of get the idea. But on the other hand, we're... None of us has an individual base quite like we did in the last go-round. So there is that to consider. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing one more layer. Assuming I don't fall to my death in the process. Alright. Uh, uh, grab two redstone blocks now. So I can add them where they go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. Away. <laughs> That's nothing but a long way down. And one more I'm back. Down. Uh oh. I have another question. Okay. I have another answer. If I got Jenny Lawson's permission, could I then read excerpts of her book? <laughs> uh, you know, in theory, yes. However, uh, Twitch and YouTube and everybody else has been extra special about anything vaguely kind of sort of remotely bordering possibly on copyright anything uh, for reasons that if I start in on them we won't finish the, uh, the stream anytime soon because I will have many many things to say about that uh, 
which means that even when you have permission, you tend to get taken down because there's no easy way to say, yes, I have permission to do this. Yes, there is. No, there actually isn't. That's, that's a big part of the problem, is there is no easy way to let YouTube and Twitch know that you have permission and not get taken down or penalized in any way for having anything that could remotely, possibly, maybe be contrived as a copyright. How do reviewers get away with it? They deal with tons and tons and tons of copyright strikes and end up fighting them all the time. Like, and sometimes, eventually, if you're a big enough channel, you can get YouTube to magically give you an exemption from a lot of the auto-copyright strike-generating type stuff. But that's usually, like, CinemaSins that gets that. And even then, they still have to fight stupid copyright junk way more frequently than you would realize. Even though technically it's commentary and technically uh, provided for by fair use and... Uh, no, I'm not. I'll stop there. I'll stop there. I'm gonna need... Your stand's more getting a more modern distance. design, by the way. Huh? The Your stand's stand. getting a more modern design. Okay. It wants to look more hipster. Um, what? I don't know. The brewing stand that wants to be more hipster? As opposed to the pig that wants to be eaten? Right. You still haven't read that book. No, I still haven't read that book. I need to. It's on the list of I will get to this eventually type stuff. I need... Well, tomorrow you know what you're going to listen to, right? Mm hmm My podcasts. No. No? You sure it's not going to be on a podcast? Maybe it's going to be I'm one of my audiobooks. I got a couple audiobooks. Oh. No. You're not funny. <laughs> yeah, all my sisters tell me that I'm not funny. I have waited patiently. <laughs> patiently, you say. <laughs> I have waited patiently. I have done the responsible adult thing. Who, who, who in chat believes that patience played a factor? Uh, that no, no. They're not commenting because they know it's true. Sure, we we, we can go with that answer. That's an that's an answer people give. <laughs> exactly, medic. <coughs> All right, I won't need those for a minute. I will need those for a minute. Uh, well, I just want to go it's on the record as I can, saying, I "Don't be surprised when we're not listening to the podcast tomorrow." Because <laughs> um, I have a new book, and I really want to read it, and I really want to share everything in it with you guys. If, if you want, we can listen to the audiobook version of the book. Um, and you can hear her read her own word to you instead of me. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or Twitter, but there's a brief video of her <laughs> recording her book out of her closet, her slightly soundproof closet, with one of her cats on her lap.
Awesome. Stack of redstone, I need... Also, in case anyone is wondering, I am a deep and passionate and abiding and all of the things fan of Jenny Lawson, a.k.a. The Blurgus. And she's awesome, and she's amazing, and she and I have a weirdly similar manner of speaking sometimes. 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 And someone yep. got me her new book for my celebration of the day that my seven pound head came out of my mama. Yeah, probably the same person that bought you the first book and the second book. Mm -hmm. And the yep. coloring book. And the coloring book. Yep. I still haven't actually colored in the coloring book. I just can't bring myself to. Yeah, I get that. I get that a lot. Like on a very deep level. Yeah. I mean, I know. I know that that is its purpose. That is its reason for being. To be colored But you don't in. write them books. But, yeah, exactly. But books are not for writing in. I Well, and, and the real irony is that I used to do a lot of highlighting in books. Like, uh... Wait, you What? I, I used to do a lot of the highlighting, the, the circling and underlining and... You what? Yeah. Why? Uh, because I was fresh out of college and that's what I had to do for all of my college textbooks to have half a hope of actually, that's you know, studying. That's what you make photocopies for. You don't hurt the book. Oh. It's the college textbook. It'll be out of date, you know, by the time the class is done. If not oh, sooner. never mind. Okay, I thought you were talking like fun, like for fun books, like Silmarillion or like well, something no, like but that. I, I did do that with a couple with a few of my C.S. Lewis books that I was working through at the time. Well, to be fair, my copy of the Silmarillion has like more notes. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't write okay, in the book, okay. but uh, so I took we're, we're pages also and We're also talking about the Cimmerillion, which bears a lot of note-taking just to figure out who anybody is as they go through their 18 name changes over the course But of I think, like, I have almost as many notes as there are words in the book. Like, you need... Like, hi, I heard you like books, so you need to write a book as you read this book. <laughs> so that you can understand the book. Mm-hmm. Which is really just a prequel for another book. Um, and whoever has the rights, I can't remember which company it was, is still planning on going ahead with their Hobbit uh, TV series. No, 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 it's, no, no. It, it's not going to be based out of The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, but in earlier material. So nobody said outright it? the Cimmerillion, but that's what a lot of people are thinking. And it's not been oh. said exactly how early they're going. Other than we're, we're probably at least going to have something vaguely recognizable. So, you know, may, maybe... Maybe they're not going to let the people who did Games of Thrones ruin the fall of men. <laughs> uh, well... I mean, they did. They did so good in the first bit. They, they just couldn't nail the nail the ending. Although neither can George R. R. Martin, so you know. <laughs> I really wish I could read his books. <laughs> I, I have never even attempted. Uh, just never quite. Never quite seemed. Yeah, just I don't know. I've tried a few times. I mean, with, with the TV series out, I, I've been tempted to just so that way I could do the thing where you, 
you read the book and then watch the TV show and then joyfully nitpick at all the differences. Oh, why do you like when I yell at the TV screen? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, I mean, that happens a lot. I, I, I'll admit it, it. It's definitely, it's definitely not always healthy. I, I kind of like where uh, I think it's Brian and Cord Killers is the one who usually goes. Uh, no, maybe it's Tom. Uh, go watch the TV or movie first, and then go enjoy the book, because that order will enhance your feelings towards the material as opposed to detract. No, that's not always true. No? Oh, well, no, you're when probably I... thinking of Harry Potter, aren't you? Yeah. I literally could not finish the books, not because the books weren't fun, but because the books made me so mad at the TV or at the movies. Like, I, I I will say that I enjoyed Jurassic Park the movie, and I enjoyed the book even more. And I am happy for having read the book first, because had I not read the book first, or, or so if had I not seen the movie first, I am quite certain that I would not have been as happy with the way things turned out. Although I will say that Jurassic Park is probably in my top 10 best movie adaptations of book material. Because it still, it still hues about as close as you can given the changes in medium. Yeah, yes, they cut out certain chapters, but seriously, you only got so long in a movie. I was kind of hoping that given the success of Game of Thrones, there would be a greater push to, instead of trying to cram an entire book into, into a movie, or even a couple of movies, that there would be a push to take the book and put it into a miniseries on TV. You like that a lot better. Huh? I do like those a lot better. Yeah. Like, that gives you a little bit more time to to treat the material with the respect it deserves. And to work around the fact that, like, in a book, you can say, Gimli says, and you know who's speaking. Yeah. Because it said, Gimli said it. <laughs> uh, well... But my problem with The Hobbit was they, like, they were already, like, at such a disadvantage because they, yeah. like, the whole, it's supposed to be funny that all the dwarves look like. Yeah. Like, it's a point of comedy in the series, and then they're just, they had to spend so much time just so you could tell who was who that it got kind of... Special. Yeah. 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 This should not be spawnable because of that lantern. It got no. Same for the other side. Yeah. Um, well, and then on the flip side, I think of the various attempts to adapt the Spencer novels to TV. And, but those failed for the same reason that various movie adaptations have failed because somebody tried to do too much and they, they tried to take an entire book and put it into a TV episode. I mean, I'll grant you the, these are candy books. They're easy reading. It's not, it's not difficult reading, but uh, each book. No, but there's a lot of scene changes and a lot of stuff that takes time in yes. like a visual context that you don't need to take as much time in the book. I mean, on the like one book, hand, can just you say, can show we're in, in New York. You can show in two minutes the the description that takes half a chapter of you know the locale. But on the flip side, you know, yeah. How? 
am I going to route the rail? Do I want to add a fourth floor? I want to add a fourth no. floor. No, you don't. Please stop hurting nice things. But that right that right now we only have thirty three soul sand blocks to grow another wart on. Oh, I love that number. It's not enough though. If I do another floor that gives us forty four. That's still forty four or four D four? <laughs> 44 as in one more than okay. 43 okay although the way I roll 4d4 is still one more than 43 <laughs> well dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you're in the storage hall yeah how could you tell because you're humming the tune. Yeah. All right, I'm curious. Oh, so you've just gotten as far as tearing, tearing down. Okay, um, you need to leave the composters on top of the stacks of hoppers. Oh, I'm not touching it. It's completely torn down for what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, okay, because you could have gotten rid of the quartz that is around the edges. That would have been okay. Quartz. I'm going to go with the quartz and the wood and the gray. I just want to make it blend a little bit better. So, so I think I'm going to incorporate... you left that one lone end rod? Where? I just took it down and tossed it in your inventory. Oh, okay. Um, so I was thinking trying to get the gray from these guys incorporated more into it. Uh. And then maybe throw in some diorite on top at the top of that to blend the two. Oh, okay. Yeah. I also both love and hate that you can hear all the uh, clerics through the wall. Feels kind of like apartment living. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> <sighs> okay, yeah, so if you're not messing with the inside... Oh, are you going to leave the shrubs around the outside, too? Because that was totally just a random, like... Yeah, because we've got the doors here. I felt like that would kind of help tie it in on the outside, and that's going to tie in the wood park. Okay. Left more of your design than you thought. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I feel like that's going to flow a little bit better. All right. I'm going to decide how many more floors I'm going to add. I'm thinking Good at least... Good luck with that. Huh? Good luck with that. Although I guess before I start... Before I go too crazy adding floors, I really need to figure out how... I'm going to get you up to the next floor in the first place anyway. No one needs to know that. Um. Hmm.
completely in case. Stone. I should probably leave myself access somehow, but... You want access? Why? I don't know. I have this weird notion that there's always the possibility something could go wrong. Don't know why you'd feel that way. Yeah, neither do I. Nothing's ever gone wrong in an engineering project. Ever. Nope. Hey, Medic, what you doing? Uh, is he in chat? He was, at some point. Oh, no. I was talking about the actual, like, voice chat. Oh, no. I think he's playing a game with Arcadius. What game are you playing? He's playing the game watching my trade, apparently. Oh. I, I thought he was, like, listing other things he was doing. Ah. Oh, okay. So, are you watching your trading in Stellaris or in real life? <laughs> Actually, I, I guess that is a fair, that is a fair question. Both is an option. She was trying to figure out if you're watching your trade in Stellaris or in, you know, the real world. Or both. My money's on both. I guess I could run you around the back in a corkscrew. Actually, that is an option, isn't it? Or an este. Or what? An este. Oh, oh. Right on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, I was busy trying to figure out pathing. My pathing is working about as well as a Bethesda game. Uh, is this entire interior, um, spawn proof? Yes, that's why there's all that carpet in there. Okay. Because stuff can't spawn on the redstone itself and everything else has carpet on it. I think, I think there was one bit that was missing. Would it be or, Medic yeah. or would it be where, where the Where the wall was over here, there was not carpet. So you'd have to add carpet there. What was the question? He said sort of like Medark. Oh. Yeah. Did I not have? No, I guess I didn't. Huh. I thought I had a row of carpet on this side. Or did I have blocks on that? Yeah, okay, that's it. You did have blocks on that. Okay. You had blocks. All right, let me go grab a little more black carpet, uh, just to put some carpet on those black blocks. 
Okay, can you grab me a couple more shrubberies too, please? Uh, which ones? Whatever. Whatever. It seems pretty random, so... It is pretty random. Well, uh, not quite random. There's not as much gradation in uh, different leaf types as I would have expected. So it's a mix of oak and birch. Okay, well, oak or birch. I'll bring both. I guess I probably use all the blue carpet too. We got a lot of that. Black carpet. Birch. And oak. Blue flowers, need, red uh... thorns. Blue flowers, red thorns. Two more uh, planks, too, please. <laughs> Seriously? You'll survive. I just you got here. You should sleep while you're there. You need what? Two more oak planks. Planks? Or do you need the trapdoors? Uh, trapdoors. Okay. Those are the these guys. You know, I'll just bring all the extra ones. You can toss them back in the storage system later. Still got to do a little more relicking on the uh, the outside walls. Looking a word. Hmm. Is relicking a word? Yeah, relicking is a word. Okay. Uh, did you put dirt or coarse dirt? Uh, I didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, I used coarse dirt so the grass wouldn't spread onto them. I mean, unless you want random grass to appear under there, but... Okay, that one's coarse dirt. Yeah, this one's not, because the grass is already dirt. grown. Oh. Although, I don't know. Do we want the grass to... Well, come over here and take a look. Do we want the coarse dirt, or do we want grass? It feels a little more like a planter shrub with the coarse dirt underneath. But it looks a little more full with the grass. I like the grass. You do? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, I'll go nab some. Uh... There is. You sound incredibly surprised about that. I am, actually. That's pretty. Well, I have certainly picked up. A lot of grass blocks. There, there's some grass blocks in your uh, temporary shulker box. Yep. Yeah, make sure you have a lantern out here somewhere. Well, I guess you don't technically need it. No, no. Lighting. Ah, uh, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay. Never mind. No, get back to what I was... Oh, drop off that carpet before I forget. Ow! What are you flying into? The wall, apparently. Oh, I've done that a lot. That's why I have no health. 
Speaking of which, I should probably eat something. You guys are so, like, fancy about that. Uh, yeah, because that's how... Uh, I forgot why. <laughs> the whole reason why I went over there in the first place was to go to the storage area and get more rails. Oh. You should get more rails. <laughs> I should. I can go eat a pork chop. I feel like that also makes the grass stand out a little bit. What do you mean? For the um, seat lanterns. Oh, having the grass there? <laughs> it makes it stand out more or less? Less. Like it's a little bit less stark. Oh, oh yeah. Well, because the lanterns already have a border of uh, blue-green. Yeah, they kind of already have a tint to them, so. Yeah. It like helps. I don't feel like I killed the design too much. No. Nah. If we should start getting a mass of potions brewed anyway, because we only got two of each since you're gonna be here. Are you turning it on while I'm standing here? Hmm? Are you turning it on while I'm standing here? I was going to at least hit it up so that way a couple of potions start brewing. Ooh, check this out. Oh, are you making sure that there's a, an exactly alternating pattern? No, I put the brighter colored shrubbery on the lantern, on the lantern so lanterns. it looks like it's radiating light. Yeah. And it very carefully makes a very orderly pattern. I'm still kind of chuckling. I feel like you have literally I'm... no room to hate. Hey, I have been working on more random designs. I know. It... I feel the need to. I I know it broke your soul when I asked you to make a random wall. But I did it, and I want a mm -hmm. cookie. Well, I know where you can order one tomorrow. No, I'm getting cheesecake. <laughs> the cheesecake cookie? Well, I hadn't thought of that. Do they have a cheesecake cookie? They do. What would a cheesecake cookie be, anyway? A cookie-sized cheesecake, or, uh... It's, a uh, Like, you mix them. No, oh, you get little cheesecake chunks in your cookie? Yep. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. My character is hungry too. <laughs> that wasn't very filling. That was no. A lot it's not. It's a cookie. It's not supposed to be filling. <laughs> Come on now. You eat enough of them. <laughs> yeah, it works that way in the game too. You eat enough. I don't of know. Them. Actually, those cookies we got from Insomnia Cookie. Uh. Yeah. Well. They, 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 cer they certainly had a little more to them. I I'll give you that. Those were ridiculous. Alright. Um, hmm. Hmm. So, so we got that going that way. We'll go. Oh. Oh, bother. Okay, that, that might unintentionally work out very well. And we'll do there, 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 there. What happens if I accidentally knocked out this redstone? Uh, which redstone? I mean, just hypothetically. Which redstone? No, it was a genuinely hypothetical question. Oh. Uh, because it didn't sound like a genuinely hypothetical question. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. That works. That works.
but I almost knocked out some redstone. <laughs> <laughs> almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And I might have had a minor panic attack because I was like, oh no! <laughs> yeah, it, it all depends on which redstone you hit and where, it, where, where okay. everything was in the brewing process. Okay. Who's done? Yep. Yeah, I just want to have a few, a few already ready, already handy. should actually work. I can I'll start this way. We'll head up between that powered rail there and that powered rail there. We have more than enough to make it across this way here. And we'll get another boost right there. Yeah. I think I got that spaced out wrong. Oops. Um, can I get it? Yeah. yeah. seeing the shulker head as I walk by and go, what are they doing here? They're just minding their business. Mm -hmm. Well, the downside to using netherrack as a building material is it is um, very easy to break. Especially when you didn't intend to. Gotcha. <laughs> what? Are you singing along to the music? Yes. I love it. Why do you make it weird? <laughs> Fun. And it makes me happy. Well, it, it's a little worse on my side because you're on a little bit of a delay. Well, it's also worse because I'm humming, but... Thank you. 
probably gonna have to rip out this last row of dirt there. Yeah. Okay. That's not a problem though. I'm gonna make that work. Where's my shovel? Where's my shovel? Oh, where is my shovel? No, that, that doesn't have quite the same ring. No, not quite. Oh, where's my pickaxe? <laughs> okay. It doesn't work when you have other music going to a different beat, though. Probably not. Although, I don't know. I've heard some lesson students. It is entirely possible to have two different beats going. Do I want to keep going? Well, no. I want to keep going. But should I keep going? Or is it time to call it a night? It's probably time to call it a night. Huh. Considering there's some driving to be done. Yeah. Finish up this I think first. it's better to be done seen and awake. What is this awake of which you speak? Oh, I've been trying to figure that out for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Or top slab makes things not spawn. Bottom slab. Okay. All right. So, break a soul.
Okay, so... I don't know. I'll figure that out in a minute. One problem at a time. One problem at a time. Oh! Um... I skipped a floor. But <laughs> That's how you know it's time. Oh, that's right. I was just supposed to wrap this one around the corner here, not go up. Stone block. You said the. Oh. Yeah, I just noticed that. So noticed I tried to drink out of a empty cup of coffee. I believe oh. that is the definition of sadness. Yeah. All right. So you'll be facing this way. And go around here, you'll turn the corner here. You can right click all you want, it's not going to do anything to the wall. You'll turn this corner. You'll be facing the wool block, so you can right click all you want, it's not going to matter. Go around this corner. And then you'll be back to facing this way, all the way around here. Piece, powered rail, up oh, the next hill. This, uh, oh. I fell in the tree. In the tree? Into the, the tree. tree. Onto oh. the tree? Into the tree and through the woods? The grandmother's house. Actually, I can just keep wrapping the rail around like that. I could watch that in forever. That would be a good one to watch. Into the woods? Into the woods. Mm -hmm. Alright, 
So for the Into moment, the woods and out of the woods. I can do that. And home before dark. Um, I'll put some lights up there for the moment. Ow. This is the last thing I need, is something spawning inside my redstone. Two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Nothing can spawn on the rail, nothing can spawn inside the machine. Be bad. He says with some trepidation. That would be so bad. What? If something could spawn inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'll light up the outside with glowstone instead of sea lanterns. But I'll use sea lanterns temporarily, just because we got a netherish theme to this thing going right now. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. We still need a safety wall around the outer edge. I'm tempted to do it in red glass, but again, I, I might see if Arcadius is willing to do a pixel art uh, nether wart on the front face. But I think... If you think... need it, we have a bit of glass. The what? If you need it, we have quite a bit of it. Uh, for the moment, apparently. I hear somebody's been uh, working through what glass we have. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know either. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I resent your insinuations, but. Nah, insinuations are subtle. Okay. Okay, subtlety's overrated. Subtlety's my middle name. <laughs> No. No, not even a little bit. You sure? I'm sure. I'm very sure. I don't think you're sure. Oh, I, I'm very, very sure. All right. Uh, I think if I get the time, I will probably, I will definitely add at least one more floor. Maybe two. Because if I add two, that would be 55 soul sand blocks. That's slightly better than half what they were using in a variety of videos. They were using 100 blocks worth of soul sand for uh, spawning. Or for spawning, for growing the nether wart. But... 10, 10 levels of that seems a bit much. Or does it? Hmm. Levels? Huh? How do we go from 4 to 10? Uh, because most of the farms with halfway decent results have 100 blocks of soul sand. And I got 11 blocks per row. So to get anywhere close to 100, I need at least 10 levels. Oh my goodness. On the other hand, I don't want to make this so big that you can't harvest it once it's done growing because you spent so long going to the other end of the farm. So we might be back to 5. But now that I get a, a pattern down, and more importantly, now that I know how the rail system is going to go. So, you'll grab a fistful of nether wart and just leave yourself AFK pointing. Oh. Oh, no. That's right. You don't stay facing the wall. Oh, that rail's not going to work. That sounded bad. 
that rail is not going to work. I'm facing there. Go up that way. That I face the wrong way. Sadness. I'm facing the right way. Go up. I face the wrong way. I'm facing the right way. Okay. No, no, no. I think we're fine. Everything's fine. We got this. We're fine. Yes, we're fine. fine. Okay. Um, we're fine. Good to know. Well, I need a, <laughs> I need a way to turn that off, so the cart just doesn't sit there going endlessly. Oh, no. no. Alright, so I'll have to figure out an on-off. I mean, I guess instead of a... Well, no, because I want this to be AFKable, so... I wonder if instead of... Put all that away. Grab one of these, and... Do I have a lever in there? I do not have a lever in there. Uh, do I have a lever in there? I do. Instead of a block of redstone there, I'll put that there. I'll get that there. Put a lever on there, because can I pat? Yeah. Okay. So I can power the. Uh, I can power the barrel on and off. That also makes getting into the minecart easier, as you can power that. And then when you're ready to, when you're done going AFK, you can try to hit the lever on the way out. I should time how many seconds you spend on each floor. Although, I, I, I think even with five... Oh, okay. That's that's a little bit more tricky than I would have expected. But okay. That can work. That can work. Alright, let me get somewhere safe. So, if I... Oh, you if I should come see your new thing. Yeah. I was thinking about napping first. Yep. Before the phantoms came for you. I wonder if I should reskin the phantoms so they all have a phantom of the opera mask. Oh, I don't like phantom of the opera. No? You know, that's a horrible thing for a theater to say, but it's just not my thing. <laughs> gonna get a little shabby path down between the iron farm and the chapel. Of course. Okay. And because you got the stairs okay. and those are bottom slabs, everything's non-spawnable. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of lamenting that there's no, no button you can use. There's no white button that'll fit. Although with the diorite, I guess you could have used uh, stone, because the black, because the gray would have. Oh, I'm not done with the roof yet. Ah. I still got some tweaks to do. And I was debating earlier on whether or not there should be a um, andesite button, you know, make buttons out of all the all the fancy stones. A fancy stone button might look pretty. You know what else I didn't think of? What? Adding a maintenance entrance. Oh. What? Nothing. Um. That didn't sound like nothing. That sounded like something. No, it was nothing. You, you, you gonna get into secret entrances and... Make a secret entrance? 
You could try your hand at the redstone fork. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? I'm gonna make it pretty. <laughs> One more batch. That's what I do. I make pretty. That's not done yet, but I feel like I did a solid job of make pretty. Yeah. I might need to. I, I guess you didn't like the, the angle up and then back down? Not for back here. It felt too tight for that. It ah. just felt weird compared to everything else. Okay. I feel really bad about but this. But you think I need to lower it one? Lower it one? Lower the top one. Ah, yeah. One block, I think, might be nice. see my block palette has some color variation without mm -hmm. like getting weird about it without getting weird about it all right all right all right i gotta get things wrapped up and uploaded I'm about ready to run through with a bunch of name tags for silence and just silence all these guys. I can then re-rename Don Quixote. Baby Foxen. Somebody name all of them or do we just have a couple of them that are named? I think I named all of them. I intended to. Might not have had enough name tags, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we have all these nether wart blocks now. Because I just realized that we had this chest with all the nethery stuff. Because we were... Or, or are we still going to put some of these... Are we still going to put some of these custom nether trees around here and there? Plan. I just haven't got a chance to yet. Okay. I just wasn't sure if that was still on the agenda or not. I think I'd still like to do it, but it's not like a it must happen right now kind of Or do we like. want to go back and try to figure out another uh, street lamp design? Play with either. Yeah, I tried to make sure that I built the inside such that you couldn't accidentally drop stuff into the system that wasn't supposed to be there. I appreciate that. You have uh, no idea how much I appreciate that. Because I already accidentally dropped stuff in there a couple of times. Oh. <laughs> and, and deeply, deeply struggled with a lot of that. Okay. All right. Because I still have to drive. I can drive. Well, I mean, not in the car that's going to be comfortable. Well, no, but I can't drive. Might as well kick that since I'll be AFK for a minute while I get all the uploading stuff ready. Let me go over to the credit screen. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, today was a bonus stream of Coffee Craft. Normally we do it Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And normally Friday is for Games Revisited. Classic games, games of my youth, and especially where those two overlap. Uh, we went on a little bit of a hiatus because I did not expect Crystallis to go as quick as it did, and so I wasn't quite ready to jump into the next game, and it, I kind of needed a little bit of a breather for that. Um, starting next Friday, that would be the day that I need to look up on the calendar real quick. Uh, starting next Friday, April 30th, 
at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, we'll begin streaming the first batch of Games Revisited Season 7, and it's going to be Trine, Reyes, and potentially one other will be joining me for that fun trip as well. Trine is a computer game that came out in the early 2000s. It's a little bit newer than what I've been trying to stick with on theme of Games Revisited. However, it is an absolutely fun game. I've started it a couple of times with Rayest and Arcadius, and we have had tons of fun playing the game. It is better with friends. That's why I'm trying to get a full party, because uh, there are three characters that you need to control. You can technically play it single player and switch between the three people as you go. It is possible. It, it, it is a thing that you can do. And I've been reliably informed that the first trying you can definitely complete by yourself if you absolutely had to. And it gets a little bit harder as you go from there. Like they just released trying for a few months ago. So there, there, there's a little bit to there's a little bit to uh, the game, and I'll get into more details about that when we get started. What I am also going to do is I'm going to find the right button to see. Okay, good. Beast Lord is on. So I am going to hit the title screen. We're going to do a raid over to Beast Lord. Looks like he's playing Monster Hunter Rise. Um. I'm not familiar with that one. Be curious to see how it turns out. So uh, follow along if you haven't already. That way you'll know when I go live. Because I, I I keep intending to add some bonus streams in here and there. Uh, preferably with Battlefield 5 if I can figure out how to make it a little less lagtastic. Uh, or I may just have to acknowledge that Battlefield 5 is lagtastic. And that's just the way life goes. Uh, so if you follow, you'll always know when I go live with those and with the regular scheduled streams, the Coffee Craft uh, replays and the episodes for Games Revisited get posted to the YouTube channel. There's a link in the description, in the channel description, unless you're watching this replay on YouTube already, in which case you've already found it. Give it a thumbs up. Leave some quips, quotes, comments, queries, complaints, other whatnot. Uh... And hopefully, if I remember to, uh, I'll get a short URL to give during these closing remarks. That makes it a little easier to get to the YouTube channel. Because until I get a thousand followers, I won't be able to get a custom channel URL. So I'll just have to make my own. Because that is something I can do. Alright, let, let me hit the title screen. We'll go raid Beast Lord. Tell him I said hi. And uh, we'll go from there. 